Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final faction review. It is it is pretty much done. Uh, so we're at the beginning of a uh, we're at the beginning of or we're, we've already loaded into a game, right? Uh, that is because I went the entire recording with my microphone off, and I had no idea. I had none, none whatsoever, that my microphone was off. None at all. I had no idea. This, it was such a, just a, oh my god, are you kidding me? Moment. So Angmar is a little different than all of its uh, brother, brethren evil factions, right? Um, for one, it walls, which I like. I wish we could, I wish all the, uh, all the evil factions could get walls. That'd be kind of cool. You know, uh, but let's go ahead and with the abilities, Karsh gets 20% uh, of his life drain, 75 if he gets Might of the Witch King, uh, and all enemies in the area get reduced damage, uh, they do reduce damage uh, by 30% for 20 seconds. If he's killed, he will rise again with 25% of his maximum health, uh, and has to be killed a second time within 25 seconds, or he will remain on the battlefield. It's kind of cool, kind of leaning into that whole undead thing. Uh, Level 3, he walks a path of death towards a target position. Enemies at that destination are temporarily paralyzed. Uh, level 3, or level 5, he gets a tunnel access, like tunnel network access. Uh, level 7, enemies in a selected near a selected crypt. Whoops. Go ahead and get a building so we can do that. Oh, ha, 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 that felt good. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that was a nice crack on my neck. I need to go skip these two. This is ridiculous. Remini. Hey, buddy. Don't worry, I'll go through all these abilities real quick. Uh, I need to get the Traders of Arnor, and we'll get through this. Don't worry, I, I will explain what's going on and what... Uh, Units I'm using and whatnot, but we kind of have to kind of have to boogie. So they get enemies near a this specific tomb uh, gets minus fifty percent damage for ten seconds. And at level ten, uh, enemy units are permanent uh, blah, 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 steadily withdraws the light of life from his enemies and are permanently damaged and transfuse their health uh, to Karsh. And, but Karsh is slowed down by fifty percent uh, for that uh, duration of time. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This is, seems like a smart idea. You guys, are you all level two? Oh, you are. That's beautiful, actually. Oh, you're gonna help a lot. I, I'm liking this. Okay, so you guys are gonna go back here because I don't wanna I really particularly. Yeah. Chief of Chiefs. The choice, is clear. choice is clear. Uh so we're gonna go with Guzar. He gets his plague barriers. They actually uh poison units as you saw. Like I selected it, I put them right in the middle of that, and then I used uh spread plague. So basically they explode dealing a bunch of plague damage, like disease damage. It's really fucking nice if you're like in a pinch like that. Um Dissolves his at level five. He can dissolve his physical form and becomes manifest in his alkal acolytes. I'm not 100% sure what that means, um, but I, like I said, I'm not gonna fault uh, the the lads who created this because uh, if I had to try to speak uh, two languages, then I would be very. I would not. It would not go well for me. Uh, level seven, he sacrifices all all of his plague bearers to raise them uh, from the dead as barrel whites. And level ten, he steals an ability, which is kind of cool. Please don't die, sir. I need you. Thank you. You are like really helping. Hey, go help him, please. The witch king can mount at level one. At level one as well, he loses or he has like a passive. Um, debuff or not a passive an active debuff that uh or sorry it is passive they will lose 20 percent armor uh, now when it's active it doubles the reduction for a short time you activate it okay so for 
the, the um, tier three. Give me one second. All right, where was I? What is? Uh, oh yeah, so at level five, Witch King gains, or gains Might of the Witch King, gives everybody, like, new abilities. I kind of like to give it to Karsh first. That way he gets 75% of his life, like, life steal. But, uh, the other heroes get, mm, I wouldn't say useful, but it's, it's their abilities. They're definitely abilities. Uh, so I'm down to two. We need to clear this area out quickly. Uh, this is ridiculous. I guess I can get. Oh, wait, I already have a Waldar. So you're gonna go over here and you're gonna grab that. Oh, you can't. Oh, that's uh, that's kind of saddening. Whatever, I guess. Where is Hawaiidar? Get over here. Uh, and at level 10, uh, he tortures a soul of an enemy hero who uh, gets their ability special points uh, for their ability pretty much redone. Back to zero. Point. Have fun. So I mean that's uh, so for the mind of the the Witch King's Afterwar gets periodic blasts that surround of uh, power that surround himself. That's a temporary effect. Mornamoth, Men of Karn Doom, in a radius of the Lust of Power have thirty percent armor. Ghouls are spells reload twice as quickly. Dormarth. Blade of the Enforcer deals double damage. Droglin, who we're not going to get or give it to, gives, um, he becomes a massive wolf beast. Karsh will heal 75% of his uh, damage dealt. Waldar gains improved attributes for a short time, and Helegwyn gets, uh, her errors can pierce enemy units. It's, I mean, I, I can't, I don't know what to tell you there. It's okay. It's not like the best, but it, it works. It, it, it do things. A Waldar, level one, he can reduce a building's uh, armor by 25% and for 30 seconds. And him and all thralls gain 50% movement speed for 30 seconds. He gets battle rage with every attack. Uh, a Waldar grants nearby vassals 40% damage for 10 seconds. Bloodlust for 30 seconds. Uh, thralls gain twice as much damage from his battle range. Level 7, he can summon a Bone Breakers that are pretty useful, I guess. I, I don't really find a use for them. I don't particularly care. And at level 10, he can destroy a building in one shot, leaving that earth pretty much scorched. So, he's a building killer, but I mean, he's not... He's a squishy building killer. I, I, it's so... just... eh, that... <laughs> that happens. I would love to. I would love to tell you that it. I I really do enjoy having him in the vicinity, but I don't. We're also gonna give you guys armor because I mean I kind of like. I kind of like the... I kind of like them, honestly. If I'm going to be 100% honest, I, I really enjoy them. Uh, they're just so fucking corny that... It's just how it works, man. We built a new hall of the king's, built a new hall of the king's men. Alright, so you need to get in here. You guys go for the west. We're going to try to get all the powers and everything, but we shall see. I would like to at least show off the cool, the, the at least, uh, 
this cool ability. I would, yeah, I might make a, a beeline for that and try to find the ring. Uh, get some for gore up in here. Go back. I will lead this army. So Durmarth gets, uh, you can switch between Guardsman and Enforcer. The Guardsman does uh, his attacks reduce damage of enemy heroes by 35%. And if he's in the Enforcer, it just reduces the armor for the same amount. Blade of the Enforcer at level 3 uh, is more power. You know, he hits them dealing massive damage at level 5. Will be healed by the amount of damage dealt. At level 7, uh, Bleed will cause... Uh, a bleeding wound for 10 seconds, and at level 10, target will also be marked for 10 seconds. At the Black Guard and Heroes, hold on, one second. That's level 3, hell yes. Let me do that. Oh, I need more command points. I totally forgot about the command points factor. Oh, that's an L. <laughs> I want Zafragor to get up in here. Uh, level 10, they can, uh, the Black Guards and Heroes of Angmar will cause 25% more damage uh, by melee attacks against that target. Level 5, he executes an enemy hero of the Iron Crown. Doromarth will become uh, immediately stealthed for 10 seconds, and his attack if he attacks an enemy hero, in that time, the, the, that the ability will act... I'm sorry, what? Did I have a stroke while reading this? If he attacks an enemy hero, in that time, the ability will activate. Okay, I did not have a stroke. I'm just dumb. And the enemy hero will lose 50% armor. Dormarth loses 30% armor for 30 seconds, uh, but his attack reduce or his attacks reduce the armor of all nearby heroes for 30 seconds. Uh, during this effect, he cannot be uh, toggled to guardsmen at level seven, and at level 10, he can command a group of black guards to uh, help or guard a specific hero. So that's fairly useful, I'd, I'd have to say. And going to the the traders of Arnor, the downside of having them, or at least having them in a bigger force, is the the fact that they continuously debuff your own units. I get Draglin again so I can find the ring. Zafragor. I'm not a huge fan of Zafragor. All his moves cost his life points. And that's pretty much what uh, that says. And he gains more damage the lower his or the lower his um, health is, and his spells do less damage. At like 25%, he does like triple damage and, or some shit, and he gets double or like 50% armor. It's, it's kind of I don't like it. Uh, I don't I try not to use him as much, but um, we're only getting him uh, Dra Dragolin so we can get uh, the ring and when we get the ring that's gonna be interesting so we're at 13 minutes already oh i didn't even do the spell book tier one you get a dark obelisk that uh, reveals hidden enemy units and debuffs uh deals stealth units and debuffs your enemy blight and economic it's pretty much an economic debuff on enemy buildings your faction specific power in the middle of the plants here cooldown of all hero abilities is uh, lower by 20 percent Bellwind pretty much sucks everybody into a like one giant little ball. Does no damage, but it's good kind of for crowd control. Ice Frozen Land has a nice sound bite. 100% has a nice sound bite. Uh, enemy units lose 50% movement speed and all uh, leadership. Trader for, traders of Arnor they have to get to level two, otherwise they're executed. But it's it's a it's a nice little um, nice little sum in a in a pinch. For tier three, uh, Thralls gain three times as much uh, health and can now summon stronger orcs of Mount Graham. Vassals get improved uh, hit points and deal more damage. That's kind of if you're intermingling your Thralls and Men of Karn Doom. I don't know why you would do that. Just go straight for Men of Karn Doom. They're expensive, but they're worth it. Outbreak pretty much poisons everybody in a uh, in an area except for your units, and that poison will spread. So it's just gnarly. Use it on like a big old army and watch them draw. For seven hill uh, for seven um, <laughs> power points, you can get Rogash and two hill trolls. I now it it's kind of like the same thing I was saying about Mordor. Uh, I don't like that that the uh, some of the cooler aspects of that faction have been reduced to nothing but a, a fucking summon. I would love 
to see like uh for mordor i think i mentioned i mentioned it in the previous version of this video that i realized my microphone was off for like the entire video so i had to redo this uh, i i feel like mordor would be needs a little bit more of a backbone in their army and if you wanted to do like a a, a settlement like you get like a little a Haradrim outpost that can summon just the basic like Haradric uh, spearmen or like the the spear throwers from uh, the first game, or you could go like a, an outpost and do like a m evil man encampment where you get um, men of rune or like men of the Easterlings and the Haradrim. Not necessarily like Mumikil because I mean that could be a little too much, but you know, it's like how they do uh, Minas Morgul and uh, Dol Guldur. That'd be kind of that'd be kind of cool. The the Hiltros, instead of you could instead of um these useless fuckers, you could replace them with um the Hiltros. And that that would work. I could I would be very okay with that. But I mean that's just don't like if the Adane team if you're watching, which I kind of realize now that actually might be more and more uh a prevalent thing i'm not telling you guys how to do your job i'm just saying what i personally would like to see so take it or leave it you guys can tell me to fuck off if you want that it's 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 still your name on the box i'm just saying what i think but that is that is all i still love i still love it i'm not saying i hate this i still really enjoy this game there's just little tweaks that i would do if it was my my thing, but that's, like I said, that's just me. And, you know, the removal of the uh, tribute system is kind of... It's kind of Angmar's biggest crutch. Okay. Who was I doing? I was doing a hero. And I f totally, like, forgot what I where I was going, what I was doing. Oh, I was doing the spellbook, that's right. Uh, level or for your tier four, you can get an avalanche, which does decent damage to units and buildings. But the main thing is it freezes all resource production, all uh, unit production, and everything. So that's it's kind of a Angor is pretty much a debuff faction. It just it will nerf you into the ground. Uh, level ten uh, for ten power points, you can also get uh, fortress or stronghold of the Iron Crown. That's a really cool one. I really want to get that. Uh, I may pause and go after the ring real quick with Drogolin. Where's the Witch King? Why are you all the way over there? Come to the wolves. So Drogolin, last, the last time I found the ring, it was up here. So we're going to go up here. Oh, damn, I can't. It's kind of sad that I can't just, uh, can't. Uh, you'll get that. Get that. Drogolin, I really don't care what you do. But you really do need to find the, the ring for my pal. Found him, like, over here somewhere. There it is. Told you! Now, you, go over this way. No, 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 no. Go over this way. Kill, kill Gollum. Yep, thank you. Right, Witch King's gonna be over here. Why did he move all the way to the back of the line there? Why are you guys just sitting here? Go, hit him, please. Uh, so that's Witch King. And he gets, once he gets the ring, he becomes a pretty much, he gets a global debuff, which is really good. You can tell because there's, uh, you know, stuff right here. Dracolin, you can go die for all I give a shit. Your usefulness is at an end, friend. I, I, that sounds very cruel and callous, but he's a fucking stupid hero. I'm not a huge fan of Droglin, but there are other people who may love him. And, you know, hey, that is that is all for you to decide. But like I said, I'm not a huge fan of, of uh, Senior Droglin, as you can tell, because he's dead. All right. So what happens when the Witch King gets the ring? Well, right here, it... All resource, all enemy resource production and unit building, or unit training buildings, will be slowed by 25%, and the enemies will have reduced movement speed while the Witch King has the ring. 
So it's a huge economic uh, debuff to them and pretty much cripples the um, cripples that faction or that uh, your, your opponents. I'm going to go ahead and summon you guys again because I kind of like getting these. It's kind of fun. I'm going to leave you guys behind to do that. Okay, um, Mornamoth, we went through Mornamoth. Zafragor, for 10% of his life, uh, you can knock down enemies and damage them. Surrounding foes will be knocked back and damaged by magic. I mean, it's okay. Uh, level 4, he loses, or he does 50% more damage for 30 seconds, but his abilities cost 50% more health. Um, level 6, 1% of his uh, life per second. He moves 20% faster and sweeps all enemies out of the way. At 10, he co it costs 50% of his fucking life. I was not paying attention, so these guys died very quickly. We will overthrow the West. Who is over here? Why are you guys over here? We're going to go ahead and go back this way. Plague Bearer. Uh, level, uh, so yeah, 50% of his life, but he creates a terrific shockwave of ice and shadows, which heavily damages and throws back surrounding units in a wide radius. It's okay. I'm not like blown away by his abilities. I'm going to be 100% honest. It's, it's, I mean, they're just abilities, man. I, I, I don't like the fact that, you know, it, it pretty, it could kill him if you try to use too many abilities at once. Oh, you are almost dead, and I was not paying attention. So you can go over this way. Uh, Mornamoth, he gets, or he does more damage the more, uh, Karn Doom units are beside, uh, or near him at 45, he gets 100% damage. So the more unit Cardoom units you have, the more he's gonna be, uh, the more damaging he's gonna be. So I mean, I can kind of see that. Uh, Dark Brand he brands a particular battalion, and that battalion loses forty percent armor, but all men in Cardoom deal more forty percent more damage as a result, and they can be sacrificed to restore his health. Uh, the this damage is increased by lust of power, and every strike also harms nearby men of Cardoom, giving the strength to Mornamoth. But this ability releases a torrent of blood, damaging all enemies in the vicinity. <clears throat> and level seven, uh, all Karn, men of Karn Doom are dark Dunedain. Basically, cost twenty five percent less uh, resources from a designated building, or from a designated Hall of the King's Men. Why are you guys all the way right here? Can we kill this guy, please? And level 10, he marshals his men to an uh, entire strength for a final attack. All allied uh, units in the target area gain triple damage and 25% movement speed. And are also invulnerable. Well, these guys take care of that. We gotta go get Heligwin. Oh shit, you're all the way over here by yourself. I'm first of the king's men. Taz, don't do it, buddy. You still recording? Yeah. Much longer than you have. Uh, I probably have one more hero, and that's that's it. So give me like ten minutes. Should be good. Where is this gentleman that I am currently trying to get? Oh, there you are. Okay. I wonder what the hell is going on there. Mm, yeah, I could do that. So, yeah, with all these, with all of this, Angmar is a particularly strong faction, but it definitely could use a little bit more love in the department of, you know, <laughs> your buildings not being affected by just a, uh, by getting your, getting outside buildings to help. I feel like that could definitely be a, a uh, better, better thing to do. Rogash gets nothing, uh, he gets like Dominate Troll, he gets an Inspire Fear, 
and he can leap so i'm not really going to show that off it's not really all that important to me but let's go ahead and get uh let's go ahead and get Eloquin as soon as we can and then i will show you this so what this does is enemies that come to this to your gate right here will be poisoned you gain a host of new abilities so you can summon a mounted battalion of black guard and movement speed for people for your units inside the fortress are up to 50 percent as well as the damage and for 30 seconds all buildings inside the fortress are invulnerable huge fucking hurrah on that that's a, a nice ability and i like that uh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna we've seen his abilities we're gonna fight So yeah, these are the Mounted Black Guard. They get the same thing as their uh, uh, brethren that are on foot, but they just move faster. They just move faster, that's really all. Elegrin, alright. So instead of the traditional uh, three stances, she gets uh, the ability to attack walls and fortresses, but deals less... less uh, less damage and but does kind of reduces the damage and production of the building by 50 percent or she can shoot freezing arrow that slow enemies down 40 percent and uh, but also does 25 percent less damage so that's her uh, aggressive stance level one she get multi-shot slowing enemies down by 40 percent uh, gift of winter 60 and for 30 seconds ice arrow salvo uh, applies the debuff for 30 seconds or 60 seconds I really particularly care about you, Waldar. Calm down. There are my heroes. You get out of here. Level 3 orders a barrage of frost arrows on the target area. Monsters and enemy units are frozen for 5 seconds. Heroes are slowed down by 50%, and buildings are disabled and can't attack. Uh, the She gets a pretty much a, a damage resistance, like a, a spell shield, if you will. At level 5 for 30 seconds or until it's destroyed. Level 7, she gets triple vision range and moves 30% faster for 30 seconds. Also slows enemies down by leaving a trail of snow. Level 10, freezing arrows slow uh, enemies 50% more and the effect of ice arrows against buildings now lasts 50, 15 more sec or 15 seconds. Also improves the effect of multi-shot and damage of the frozen arrows and ice munitions are doubled. So really and truly as a last faction i'm kind of glad i saved angmar for last uh, i really do enjoy angmar but at the same time i can see where we could have a better it could be done better i guess is the is the best way i can put it but i mean as far as like a as far as a, a faction it's pretty good I like it. I like it. I can I can deal with this. Uh, I can deal with the things I don't like. But I will go ahead and end this there. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We are at 87 subscribers. At 100, I will let you guys pick what uh, what, we, what we can do for that. Um, but you guys, we're going to get to 100 by the end of the year. And 200 is the goal for 2023. We'll just keep going up 100 until we get to 1,000. And we'll just keep going from there. I think that's a very manageable, very manageable um, goal. Of course, we will kind of change if need be, you know, depending on how it does. But I'll see you guys. Hopefully, I don't know what to do. I'll let, uh, we could do Age of the Ring faction reviews after this. Uh, that's something I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing. See y'all in the next one. Peace.